Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.1, number 57. And this was where we were asked to find the slope of a line. And so there's a couple ways to look at this. If you remember back from your math days, anytime you have a horizontal line, we know that the slope is zero because there is no rise over run. Your rise is always zero. When, you're, when your y values are constant, then there's no rise over run. So if you remember from your math days that if you have a horizontal line, let me write line, then the slope is zero, great, then you're done. But let's say you didn't, you're like, I, I don't remember that. Well, let me show you what you can do. You can pick any two points you want on this line. I'm gonna pick these two, I'll go one negative two and three negative two. And again, it doesn't matter what you pick, but I'm just gonna pick those two because it'll match my work. And then what you can do is you can use that slope formula and you can do the change in y's in ratio to the change in x. But if you look, right, there is no rise. There is no change in the y values. So, okay, no problem. So I have negative two minus a negative two, that turns into zero. My denominator turns into two, and anytime you have zero over two, that ratio is zero. So again, oops, why did that switch to an eraser? Here we go, there, there we go. So check, the slope is zero, all right? Thanks so much, everyone, bye.